Hey everybody, this is Melanie of Melt Doodles, and this is the third in my Zodiac series. This is Pisces. I realized actually when I looked it up that the Zodiac signs start in a different placement than our year starts. So um, I think it starts in the middle of our year. So I think it actually starts with Aries and goes down the line. Whereas I started with Capricorn, but Capricorn I think is at the end. Anyway. <laughs> I am on Pisces and I'm going to keep going down the line as far as I'm concerned and uh, this one actually gave me a lot of trouble because of the colors. I actually also had a lot of problems with the sketch itself. I looked at the sketches as a whole or I looked at the sketch as a whole as I finished it and it looked fine but then when I finally went to go and color it digitally I found that there was a lot of um, there was a lot of blurriness going on in certain areas that were hard from that made it hard for me to define what shapes were happening in that area. So it made it very difficult for me to make those definitive shapes. But um, as I was trying to color it in in the beginning, um, another issue that I was falling into was color. Uh, I wanted to start off, and as you see, I did start off with these cool blues, kind of purple. I wanted to make it feel kind of like this Arctic look. Um, like arctic feel with the, all these cool blues and such and such and such even to the extent that I did like a, her hair white so that it would complement that cool blue um, but I didn't like how it was coming out and so I started to experiment with color a lot in this piece and you're gonna see me do that a lot um, kind of just mix around colors and so this piece itself when I put all of the files together it, in a whole it was five hours and there was actually one video that um, showed that was majority of me just kind of BSing and not really working because I couldn't seem to get past a certain point of coloring this image and something felt like it was constantly missing. And this is going to happen to you guys if you're doing this professionally or if you're just using, you know, if you're doing work in general, you're going to find that there's going to be moments where the color is coming, is getting away from you, there's certain parts of the image that are just not working and you're not sure how to fix it right at the moment and you're kind of hitting yourself, hitting your head against a brick wall trying to get through and the one thing that I find is the best approach is to stop working for an hour or so especially if you're a professional artist and you need to keep working don't give yourself a whole day to kind of relax and think about things but just give yourself a couple of hours watch a movie um you know read a book listen to an audiobook do something completely different make your dinner make your lunch and then come back to it and figure out look at it again with fresh eyes and figure out what is the issue um in my case what i did was yeah i watched something on tv and then i figured out when i came back what the problem was somewhat I still did have a lot of issues because I think in my mind I had one idea of what I wanted it to look like and then um, when I was actually working on it, it was something that I had to accept was not going to come out the way that I wanted it to work or that there was going to be other decisions that needed to be made so that it could come out looking really good. <laughs> compromises, compromises. Anyway, um, so. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I don't want to talk too much because I feel like um, the the commentaries can sometimes become repetitive. Um, but if you don't mind me talking about this stuff, it's fine. I get excited talking about it myself. But uh, oh, another thing was you're gonna see um, me constantly kind of rotating through ideas. Um, you're gonna see me trying to like swap colors in the background, and that is. Um, was kind of a consistent um, habit with this piece so uh, yeah. if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions you can always put them down below in the comment section or oh, what is that I just touched something and it reacted like charcoal which means that it probably is charcoal but I have no I worked with charcoal so I don't know where that came from Oh, it's like staining everything okay so um, yeah and subscribe uh, I will be doing a video for each of the zodiac signs so if you haven't seen it yet it's just because I haven't posted it or haven't done it yet but I will be putting them up as I do them because I have a deadline of a couple of weeks to get them all done or maybe like three weeks because I have a show in a little bit and I want to have them all available 
together. And if I am successful on an early date getting them all done, I would like to make a book of them. And the book will have the sketch portion of the character design for the um, zodiac sign. And then next to it will be the final. So you can kind of see how it transcended to a digital colored final piece, which I think looks really cool because I think that uh, um, there's such a, there's such a, once it goes digital and once it goes color, it really, really transcends to looking so much, I, I, it brings the, brings to life the image, kind of. Anyway, enjoy guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.